Hey gang, <clears throat> long time no see. Um, I need to cut my hair because it's getting it's getting kind of ridiculous. I don't I don't like it when it's all over my ears like that. Um, so I'm gonna cut it. I thought maybe someone out there would want to get some idea of how to cut your own hair because I don't have anyone to go to and you probably don't either right now. I have actually been cutting my own hair for quite a few years because I just got tired of paying someone $14 back then anyways it's probably like 20 now um, so I just decided to start learning how to cut it myself first time you do it it may not go as good as you hoped <laughs> but it's a fairly simple process um, and you're going to need one of these fancy clipper sets and the biggest thing is get them out, are the guides now these guys will you clip them onto the front of the clipper and that keeps it so it only cuts your hair to a certain length so I'm gonna quickly go through how I do it and hopefully this will help someone else someone else out there if you are feeling kind of shaggy right now <laughs> so first thing you do is you grab your clipper and you grab I start with the one inch guide because I like to go longer one inch and then work my way down so you can kind of control what you're doing but it's pretty simple you just take the guide you clip it slide it onto the top like that and then it just clips on and now it doesn't fall off. Oh, the other thing you're gonna need is probably a mirror so you can try and do the back of your head. Now, of course, back of your head is gonna be the hardest part and that is the part that takes the most practice. You've got nothing better to do and no one's gonna see your haircut for a while so if you do make a mistake, no big deal, right? It's just hair, it grows back. So first step after the clipper is you need to wash your hair. Um, personally anyways, I prefer doing this with clean hair than getting grease and yuck all over the clippers. So I always wash my hair first. When I'm done, I jump back in the shower, rinse off all the hair, <clears throat> but that's just me. <clears throat> so I wash my hair, then I kind of comb it in my normal style. I do the standard part. <clears throat> you can do whatever. This will work for any kind of hairstyle, really. You just have to kind of practice. You put your hair into whatever style you want, and then it kind of gives you a guide of how far up to go and all that jazz. So let's let's start. You just start going up. Sorry that my hand's in the way. Um, fold down your ear. And like I say, because the guide is on there, you can't get any deeper than one inch, so you're not gonna accidentally uh, chop something you didn't want to chop. I mean, it could, I guess, but it makes it more difficult to make a mistake. I try to keep my hand sort of on the top as I'm going up. So putting your hand on top sort of holds the hair, presses it a little bit into the waves. Um, yeah, you just kind of, you do that all the way around. Here on the top of my head is pretty long right now, so it's making it a bit more difficult. <laughs> To figure out where I am. But you kind of just 
go around, drop your hair. And eventually you get used to feeling where where your clippers are, where you've been, where you need to still go. Now doing the back. I just go by feel. And you just kind of go, I kind of use the ridge of my that bump on the back of your skull as kind of the stopping point and then I, then I angle the clipper up. But that's my style. Now for the top, you don't want to just zip it down because I mean even though you got your guide, it's only a one inch guide, so unless you want it really short on top, if you do, hey, have at it. Super easy. I like to have a bit of length on mine, so the guide doesn't really work, so you have to kind of hold the hair kind of that where you want it. It's not a precise cut by any means, but it takes off some length. Well, so they can keep some length. And the top is hard to hard to tell exactly where you've been, so it's sort of a back and forth. Cut some, see what it looks like. Cut some, see what it looks like. See what it feels like. If it's still too, still feeling too long, there's a spot there in the back. It's definitely still too long. Um, but yeah, you just kind of do this with this guy. until you're okay with that length all around. And then you just simply repeat the process with the next guide down. So I'm going from a one inch, I'm gonna go down to the three quarter inch. And then it's the same process. You just start on one side, Now the only thing as you go down in guides, you just want to make sure you're not taking the clipper quite as high up on your head. So, three quarter to one inch doesn't really, there's not a huge difference there. So, if you go a bit too high, it's not the end of the world on this one. If you go down to like a quarter inch, even half inches, getting pretty different. So just have to be careful as you're going down in guides. It's just just a process of lather, rinse, repeat. When I'm, when I'm done this guide, when I'm done this guide, I'll move down to the half inch, and then lastly, quarter inch. And a quarter inch, half inch, strangely enough, you're going about halfway up as you did with the full inch. Uh, the quarter inch I just used for the very, very last little bit. This quarter inch is pretty short, so it's going to give you that really bristly feel. Normally these kits will come with a, a brush, so every once in a while you can brush the hair out of the clipper. <laughs> One thing too, as, as you're putting the guide on your head, you're keeping, you can see, you're keeping the flat part, the flat part of the guide is flush, flush to your head. You're not, not down like that. And you're not up like that. You're keeping the flat and just running it along your skull. There. 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 Okay. Kind of know, 
kind of know when a spot is done because you don't you can't hear that hair being cut. Let me do a spot that hasn't been done yet. Versus a spot that has. You can hear a lot less hairs being cut. So you can have that audible information as to where you've cut already and where you haven't. And really it doesn't matter if you go back and forth over a spot you've already done because of the guide. You're not going to cut any more off. It can only go so far down. So there's no real worry that you're going to accidentally snip something that you weren't supposed to until you change the guide, of course. Hold down the old ear. Get behind the ear. If your hair starts getting too dry or too fluffy, you just wet it down again. Uh, I usually don't bother, but definitely can if you need. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it for that guide. I mean, I guess I, it's not going to be perfect, but there'll be a little bit more here. Oh, there's a spot. Get. I always have this longer spot on the back there. It's kind of hard to hard to hit. So close, <clears throat> close enough. All right, moving on down, moving on down to the next side. One more time. Now I'm at a half inch now, so I'm not going super far up my head. The back I can go a bit farther up because it's the back. For this one, I'm going... Alright, let's see. I'm going just to the crease. And then curling up. I'm kind of doing it sight unseen too, so hopefully it's straight. I'll find that out a little bit later when I start using that hand mirror. That side. My top is super long still, so I'm going to run my fingers through, grab a bit, and now using the shorter guide, you can take off a bit of length, and it's only going to cut what's above your fingers. So it gives you that extra protection. Let's see if I can show you a bit. Of course, if you're like me and you like to have the part, you're going to want to keep. You're going to want to keep this side longer than this side. So you're going to want to cut more on your unparted side. Because you need enough hair to get across your head. Which should be pretty obvious. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I think I'm just about good on the top. I may have just cut a bit too much right there, but... The fun of home haircuts. A little more there. Now, when I'm doing that, the guard, the guard isn't against my head as I'm doing that. I'm just kind of fluffing my hair. Trying to just take off the top stuff, instead of being right against the head and rubbing it up like that. But gee whiz, the haircut's almost done. Just double check some spots here. Again, I'm just using 
my sense of touch, basically, to tell me where I am. I'm using my, my hand as kind of a guard on the back, so I know so I know kind of where to, where the the guard is going to stop. Now my last size, I'm going to use a quarter inch. I do have a one eighth inch. I don't tend to use it all that often. It's really short. Clean out that hair. Throw on your last guard. <clears throat> my last guard anyway. Now this quarter inch is pretty short. So you don't want to go super high with it. This is usually where the mistakes are made. Because <laughs> you're getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, I usually keep this one kind of just to the perimeter, to the lowest portions. Let's see what I'm showing you here. The really tricky part is behind the ear because I think normally there are some guides that are like angled, but I've never been able to really work with them properly, so I don't. I threw them away because I just didn't use them. So sometimes the back of my ears are not super great. I try and just angle. I try and angle the razor myself. Uh, on this side. So it's kind of tricky to get behind the ears. Um, I think I think that looks decent. It's a bit fluffy. It's hard to when you have the part. It's hard to get that. It's hard when you get the have the part to get this part. So it isn't kind of puffed out like that. Um, I'm try to trim just a bit. Again, my guide is not touching my head. I'm just sort of freehanding it now, just to try and get a little bit of the poof gone. But doing anything freehand, that can lead to some uh, some bad, uh, bad things. <laughs> so just be careful as you're doing it. All right, that's a quick one. The last one that I do, no, no cover, and that's just to get around, around the ears. Try and trim that down, trim the sideburns, all that kind of good stuff. So, see what we can do. Chop off your sideburns, and then very gently and trim around the ear. I'm just using the corner of the clipper, at least as far as I can see it. <laughs> Getting behind the ears, probably one of the hardest parts. It's hard. And then you switch to the other side and you just go, oh snap. And when I'm doing when I'm doing my sideburns, I'm trying to line up sort of with my eye, sort of the bottom of my eye. It can be a little bit challenging to uh, get the sideburns even on both sides. Hopefully I did an okay job at that. <laughs> no, who knows? But hey, for me, I don't mind if it's perfect. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I just hate having long hair. Not my style, man. Again, we're just doing a little... A little bit of freehand. Super scary. Uh, now, the, the last step. Here's the tough part. So you're gonna need to have a mirror, have a hand mirror, and then 
turn it so you can look in the mirror and be doing this on the back of your head. Now this one I may not be able to show because I need to concentrate on this. So bear with me here. I always turn around so the big mirror is on my back. See the side. I'm just gently, gently sliding it up my neck, up the side. So I'm touching the hair just a little bit. That looks okay. So that side looks okay. <clears throat> now, the biggest thing that you don't have a guard on, you never want to just start jabbing in. You always want to start low. Side there we go. So start low and just gently, gently go up until you get to that hairline. You also don't want to go too far past your hairline because then it just looks kind of weird and sci-fi-ish. <laughs> see that in some sci-fi movies where they've got like it's been buzzed completely up to the to the crown of their skull there <laughs> I don't really want that so uh, try the other side now this side's tough because I'm right-handed so <laughs> okay it takes us it takes a bit to orient your razor too Make sure. You're putting it in the right spot. Just see if I can get a little bit more straight on the back. What do you think? Does it look straight? Is it super, <laughs> is one side higher than the other? Really hard to tell when you're doing it by yourself. I think I did an okay job. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm crazy. I might have to turn off comments. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much my haircut. So like I say, you just need, this is a Remington set. I got it about 10 years ago. It's still going strong. I've never needed to oil it. I've never needed to do anything with it. it. There's no maintenance. It's fantastic. I think it cost $25 back then. Maybe it's up to $30 now. I'm not totally sure. But uh, model number HC921. But again, this is a really old model. So I'm sure they have brand new, newer, better models now. But yeah, for like $25 I've spent on haircuts in the past however long I've been doing this. Um, I've only made a couple mistakes, <laughs> which isn't, isn't too bad. And you know, they grow back. <clears throat> I did make, I accidentally touched, as I was doing the back of my head, I accidentally angled it and touched a spot. So I had this sort of like bald spot in one, in one little spot. So I just used some makeup. I have some like grease paint and stuff like that. I just put some brown makeup there for a few days just to kind of darken it down so you couldn't see my pasty white skin showing through my hair. <laughs> and then it grew in within, you know, a week. It wasn't noticeable. And there you go. Anyway, I think, I think that's it. Now, my next step is I jump in the shower, get all the hair off of me, come back out, recomb my hair, and just see if there's any spots I missed. If there is, do some quick touch-ups. Maybe my... Maybe I missed some length on the top. I think I did okay. I might trim my bangs down a little bit. They are a bit, getting a bit long. Uh, for bangs, you can use scissors. And I will just uh, kind of 
touch, 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 touch above my eyebrows. I think I might, I think I might need, leave them for now. I'll wash my hair, I'll see how it looks. And then uh, maybe do some touch up, but I think, I think we're pretty good. Um, I hope you found this useful, and I hope you give it a shot. Like I say, no one's gonna see you for a while. It's, it's a great time to get in some practice. And just as you're using the clippers, especially doing the back, you just wanna, you're, you're doing everything in reverse, so you have to learn how to tilt, where to press, how to press, how to tilt to get the proper angle that you're looking for. It definitely takes practice, but now's a perfect time. And maybe if you have a sibling or something that is sleeping, you could do some practicing on them. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyways, hope you found this helpful. If you did, awesome. And uh, I will see you sometime. Well, tomorrow for another exercise video, but sometime for something else. <laughs> Take care, shower time. Oh, and one thing that I totally forgot, make sure you clean up your hair. Nobody wants to clean your hair for you. That's just gross. I don't like touching other people's hair, but I'm fine with mine. So if I don't like it, someone isn't gonna wanna clean up my piles of nasty on the ground. Make sure you clean up your hair, especially if you live at home with your mom. Anyways, I'll talk to you later, bye.